Attic Island is the perfect solution to create extra storage in your home without damaging valuable ceiling insulation. This safeguards against expensive heat loss. To install Attic Island, you will need a tape measure, an impact driver or electric screwdriver, a knife for trimming or cutting any insulation, a jigsaw may be occasionally needed to trim boards to fit around truss work or obstacles. Assess the attic to locate the ideal site to install your attic island. Avoid areas where obstacles such as pipework, trusses and beams impede access to install the attic island. These obstacles can be overcome as we'll show you later. Once you have located your preferred site for Attic Island, clear the area of any storage or debris. Measure the length and width of the proposed Attic Island site using a tape measure. Decide on the size of the island to fill the area. Refer to our website or brochure to see kit sizes available. Carefully remove any insulation that lays above the joist line. If the insulation is in segments, pile the insulation clear of the work area. If the insulation is a blanket, roll it back to reveal the joist underneath. Clip and slide the stilts onto the joist. Try not to space the stilts further than 600mm from each other for best strength. Measure and check the distances as you locate each stilt to ensure they are not too far apart. Start from a point of reference that will help you keep the stilts in an orderly line. Using an impact driver, drill or electric screwdriver, secure the stilts to the joist using four screws at the base. There are screw holes in the base of the stilts. The stilt is designed to be secured to double joists and flat surfaces if needed. Simply snap up the wing section of the stilt and secure. Check that each stilt is firmly fixed. Relay or install new insulation around the attic island stilts to ensure no heat can escape. Trim insulation segments to ensure they are not squashed or compressed against the stilts. If using blanket insulation, lay the blanket over the stilts and make small slits to pop the top of the stilts through. This will ensure a good insulation barrier. Place the attic island boards, but do not secure until you are confident they all align. Sometimes joist heights can vary, which can leave stilts at uneven levels. This can be overcome by installing offcuts of ply to the top of the stilts, as required to provide a level platform. However, this is a rare event. Leave half of the top of the stilt exposed, so the island can be extended later on as needed. Secure the boards by screwing them down to the stilts. If you have framing or truss work blocking the location of the boards, you can use a jigsaw or trim notches to allow the islands to fit into the space. Measure the size of notch needed and trim out using the jigsaw. In some cases, you may not be able to locate a stilt in the area needed to support the edge of a board. This can easily be overcome by bridging the two boards by using a smaller piece of ply to lock the boards together. Add your treasures to the attic island and enjoy the extra space in your home.